Oh. Hello. Hello, everybody. I got my glasses on today. We're going to be playing That's Not My Neighbor. A very fun Ichio IO game. Well, uh, it's half of me on screen. How is everybody today? I changed up the... I think they call it like a, a feature skin for chat. I'm going to make sure I change the music. Yes. Aww. The game is in the description down below. I believe you. it's a very affordable game. It's not too pricey. Really cool. It's kind of like, uh, I want to say, almost like a desk job. I think there's another one. It's like, mm, what is it called? There's another game like it too. Garcelaine, Virgil, got a messy Carlos Cadence. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Good evening. Let's see. I think exams are coming up. So I imagine anybody who's in school, you're studying for... May exams, like the May final semester. Man, I remember school. Oh, I'd be really busy right now. Because we're about like two weeks away from the end of April. And exams usually are like mid-May. Sometimes like late May. Man. Summer's coming up as well. It's gonna be a lot of cool summer sale games on Steam Engine. Look out for those sales if you like playing PC games. I think same goes for like Nintendo Switch, but they don't really do a lot of a lot of sales as much as Steam does. I don't know, I'm a PC gal kind of, <laughs> kind of gamer. I'm a PC gamer. I think it's called uh Cub Scouts used to play it. It's called like a uh, desk job. Desk job. And you prevent people from passing through if they didn't check out with their like ID card paperwork, a really cool kind of feature. It's like finding out who is uh, an imposter. Desk job imposter game. It's like Among Us meets desk job. But what is this one called? I think I think it is called desk job. <laughs> it might be imposter. Muertos, yo, what's up, buddy? Let's see, imposter, yes, imposter desk job game. Imposter. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. Let me put Steam Engine. I can't, yes, I think it's called, well, it's not Aperture Desk Job. We did that game. That had nothing to do with imposters. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. I can put in Cub Scouts, plays, imposter, mm, imposter desk job game? Dang, I can't remember. It's where you can't let them pass if they don't check out. Dang it. Mm, papers, please. There you go. I looked at all the games he was playing. Somebody did a list. Somebody on Wikia. Wikia? W-I-K-I-A. They did a list of games that he has played on his channel. And it's called Papers, Please. That's another cool game on Steam Engine. So, Paper, Please. Just in case if anybody doesn't know. It's like an indie 2D pixel game. Except the one we're playing today isn't Paper, Please. But if you guys like this one, I can play that game as well. Let's see, because it's kind of like a... Mm. It's a simulation political indie retro game. It's a puzzle with some rich story, casual, difficult adventure, strategy, single player. So no multiplayer, but they do have multiple endings. So we're going to go ahead and play... That's not my neighbor. We're gonna play as a desk- wait, not desk guy. We're gonna be playing as a doorman. So, you know, at apartments or kind of like hotels, even, they have like a doorman. And the doorman has to see people checking in and checking out of like the lobby area before they go to their suite or their room. That's exactly what we're gonna do today. So then, if I can click back on it, English. I have some sweet potatoes I'm eating. Warning, this video game contains flashing lights and the characters and entities present are- Fictionist and any resemblance to reality is just coincidence. That was fast. Loden. Hopefully you like it. A lot of people enjoyed it. Mm. 
Making sure that my audio is on. Okay. Nice! You can kind of scroll around. Ignacio Alvaro. Sorry, I got sweet potato in my mouth. <laughs> Alvaro. 3312 DD. February 1955. Ooh! It is a retro game. Okay. So, click to continue. Let's go ahead and do options. English, they have Espanol. You can do it in Spanish if you want. And I'm guessing this is Japanese. The sound. How's the music? Should I turn it up a little bit? Okay. Ooh, they have handicap? Text for sound, yes. Text for color. It says, when active, move the cursor to the character's face to see the text. If they have any important color in their appearance. Triphobia, fixed camera, small dialogue. What's triphobia? What does that mean? I know what fixed camera does. It kind of like positions it so it doesn't move so much. I mean, I like that it moves, but it can make me nauseated. So... But it might actually help when we're looking at stuff. Triphobia. Let me know if you know what triphobia is in the comments down below. Triphobia. Small dialogue. Okay. I like the little handicapped little person sign. Uh, I think that's a count. So let's go ahead and press OK. Let's play. Ooh, there's different... How many rounds? Nice. I thought it was going to be a short game. But I guess it's not too short. Arcade mode. The doppelgangers you let in don't kill you immediately. But at the end of the run... <clears throat> get a score rank at the end of the run according to your performance. Possibility defined to complete the Chester's quiz. Let's play. How was breakfast? Oh, it's loud. The following short film is a production of DDD with educational fines. Hello! If you're watching, the film is because you're the new doorman in your building. Okay. Your job is to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform into another person and impersonate them. But some are not too good at it and could generate imperfections. Oh. You have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors. It's so old timey! Also, remember to fill out the checklist for each neighbor. You can't miss any detail because it could mean death for you and your neighbors. That's a big building. Oh. <laughs> this is the structure of your office. Now we are going to explain how it works. Here is the security window. Don't forget to observe very well each individual who approaches. On the right, you have to the folders with all the data of each neighbor according to the respective floor. To fill out the checklist, take one of the lists in front of you. Receive documents from this hatch. That's safe. That's a nice safety, you know, like feature. If you determine that the individual isn't a doppelganger, then allow them to enter the building with these buttons. I'm reading as fast as well. Otherwise, if you determine that it is in fact doppelganger, press the emergency button and call 3312. I'm gonna write that down. 3312, 3312. Communicate with the DD or anything achievement, use the building in the telephone in front of you. <laughs> Your job is really important, so make sure you do it right. I had to read that fast because I was writing it down. 3312. <laughs> Finally, we can. We congratulate the doorman of the month, Henry. It wasn't that he did an excellent job, but he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by a doppelganger. He has a butt chin! Be like Henry. Da -da -da. This is like Fallout, but better. He looks like Shaggy from Scooby Doo! 
Loden. Christian, hello, Christian. Welcome and congratulations on your new job. As you can see on the introductory film, you're very- <laughs> ah! Every day there will be a list of individuals who are requesting entry into the building. <laughs> it's, fast. it's possible that there are individuals who request entry and aren't on the list. In which case, you might have the checklist that they are not on the list and proceed to question the individual. Also, you must verify the ID and the entry request are correct and you have the respective DDD logo. Don't forget to also check the expiration of the IDs month and year. Remember, it's February 1955. <laughs> I'm gonna forget. I wish you the best of luck. 1955 February. It's a, a February. Okay. Ah. Oh. Hello. My name is Bubbles. Oh, she's Miss Bubbles. She's very curvy. <laughs> Uh, it says name Mar Margaret <laughs> Margaret 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 Apartment F02-03 reason I'm a resident of the building I went out uh, I went out for my job as a seamstress but you don't have a third eye You guys what do you think Is this Margaret uh, Margaret uh no Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, Margaret Bubbles. Oh, like Cobra Bubbles from like, what is it? From Lilo and Stitch, the Disney movie? He's like, my name is Cobra Bubbles. And he is, he was as the, um, he was part of the Child Protective Services visiting Nani. The older sister who like takes care of Lilo, the little sister, the, yeah, the two main characters. Who ran into an alien named Stitch from outer space? He's an outer space outlaw, an actual like a, I think a galaxy criminal, something like that. Yeah, Stitch is a criminal, and he's hanging out with a kid. Go figure, Disney. <laughs> but it's a cute story, and it was one of my favorite Disney movies. I have a lot of favorite ones, not maybe like the top favorite, but yeah, definitely up there. Malamation says, "Boo, hello, hello, buddy." Christian, I'm from the internet. I'm a um, I'm a virtual VTuber. I'm in your PC now or your computer. I mean, I mean your phone. I'm inside of your phone now, Christian. That's where I'm from. I wish I was like ET from outer space. That'd be so cool. There's a movie called Space Invaders. It's from the early or late 90s, 80s. I think it was 90s and 80s, like an older movie. It's called Space Invaders. It's where they come from outer space and have big melon heads. And they get hunted down by a farmer. And I I'll let you guys watch the movie and I won't spoil it. That's a good one. It's cute. A family moves to a small town. And the little girl, she's not... Like, she wants to make friends and it's Halloween. And they're having it a hard time. Something about her mother passing. Or her mother not being there anymore. Either that or I mix that up with another movie. But yeah. She's just trying to adjust to make friends. And she makes friends with aliens. With watermelon brains. Cadence! Also, I was diagnosed with COVID yesterday. Oh my god, Cadence. Let let the let the gods be with you, Cadence. Let you make recovery. Cause co the big C isn't fun. It could be either congestion like the throat, sneezy, coffee, fevers. Be you know, be um <laughs> Oh, when was the last time I had COVID? I think like a year ago? Take care of yourself, Cadence. Take it easy. Make sure you get rest. Try not to stress out. I believe the immune system kind of starts like shutting down when people get really stressed out. But I think as long as you stay calm and if you get any prescription from your doctor for medicine, for congestion or, you know, allergies, things like that, anything they recommend, you know, make sure you take care of yourself. Oh, Cadence, that's not fun. It's awful. Some streamers, when they get COVID, they just don't appear for a few days. Some of them, it can take like a week to recover. Thankfully, I haven't been to any conventions yet, so I haven't gotten sick. Because usually that happens... Mm. Or at your job, if someone gets sick or school. 
It's 1975. So the guy said it's supposed to be February. This is December. February is the second. And it's supposed to be 1955. And she's got an eyeball in the center of her forehead. So I'm gonna go ahead and check off her ID is out of date. <clears throat> my ID? I don't see anything wrong with my ID. Yes, it is because it's February 1955. And you get an eyeball. I like her last name, Bubbles. Checklist. Appearance. Question the individual. And what's wrong with my appearance? Look carefully at the photos of my papers and compare them well with me. Make her sassy. Yeah, no, I did. It's, it looks nothing like you. It looks nothing like you. Kind of like her third eye. She must see the beyond. That's cool. She shouldn't be a seamstress. She, she should be a fortune teller. Wait, what happened? ID, appearance... Entry request... My ID? Yes, there is something wrong with your ID. I did... Checklist. Entry request... I already answered your questions. I'm mixing her voice up. Forgive me. Uh, entry request. Boop. Is it on today's list? Oh, good question. Is it on today's list? You are not. We have Mia Stone, Nacha Michales, Gloria Shkimigic, Anastasia, Anastasia Michales. Oh, are they related? They could be cousins. Dr. W. Afton. Ooh, like William Afton. That's funny. He kind of does look like William Afton, too. You're not on the list, lady. Now you got to, um... You got to bug off now, sorry. I'm not on the list. No. That must be a mistake. I should be on the list. Look at the list again. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to call the police. All right, guys. Uh, how do I call? I gotta get ready, right? Three! Wait, wait, I'm trying! I'm trying! I'm trying! Three! 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 One! Two! Report! Report! <laughs> You have contacted the DDD. A group of agents have been sent to your building. Please wait for the cleaning protocol to run. Are they gonna? Are they? Oh, are they gonna annihilate her? When they say clean up crew, do they mean they're gonna like you know? The cleaning protocol completed. You can continue your job. This is like Monster Inc., but. You know, the opposite. It's, just, it's not monsters amongst monsters. It's monsters amongst mortals. I wonder how long the monsters live in the monster... Oh, hell. oh he says, hello. What's the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? I want to say love. I'll say love. That's incorrect. Why are you asking me? Goodbye. Wait, am I going to die now? I thought it was love! I thought love was the universal meaning of life in the universe. Hello! I gotta give her a different voice. Hello, it's Selene Skinovich. Uh, it says 1980. It's 1955, lady. How could you be born in 1980 if it's 1955? In March, ooh, my birthday month. Selene Skinovich. Uh, Apartment F01-04. Conray Elect 12. Imposter Among Us. Yeah. She got big old lips. She got ducky lips. She does look pretty though. Like she could be a swan or like a ballerina. Bella, hello. Bella Perez, hello. Virgil says you can do it, Sprinkles. I thought we were going to die. So if we take too long to call DDD, the D, I think detection uh, something services, 
if we take too long, can we potentially die from interacting with, with the imposter? Because they called them, what is it, shapeshifters? Christian P says, sus. Bella says, it's, it says, it's Jesus. Say hello, Jesus screams in a demonic way. No! Jesus? Do you think it was Jesus? Wait, hold on. If, if there was a possession moment, like the guy seemed okay, but... I was thinking the, the answer was Jesus. Because <laughs> he seemed like a hippie guy, like, you know, he really loves people, so I thought maybe he's into the belief system. You know what I mean? So I should have put Jesus. Should have put Jesus. That he was the answer to everything in the universe. But a demonic sound of like Jesus would be like, Jesus! Jesus! This sounds like a dinosaur. Time Rail says, check the list! Got it. So she said, I'm a resident of the building, apartment four, on the first floor. Are you on my list? You're not supposed to be in today. Um, uh, wait a minute. I don't see anything wrong with her. She's got a mole on the cheek. She got lips. Let me see those eyes, woman. What color is her makeup, though? Yeah, the date's wrong. Mm-hmm. She says my apartment's on the... On... Is the four on the first floor. Ow. We don't have a, a fourth floor. Look at that. Oh, it's behind me. We only have first, second, and third floor. We don't have a fourth floor. I'm afraid it's not gonna work, lady. The ID checks out. That's fine. Her appearance is good. Entry request? You're not on today's list. I'm not on today's list. I think there's an error. I should be on the list. Look at the list again. No, you're not on there. Sorry. I mean, these, this could... Well, you kind of favor her. No, you're not on the list. And we don't have a fourth floor. Wait, she said the first floor. Okay, there is a first floor. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, lady. So we have Stalinsky. ID number, big nose, scar on the right chin. Oh, he does have a scar. Long face, one eyebrow, wears a hat. Lois Stalinsky. Oh, they're married. So they're on the, they're on the first floor. Let's go to here. She is a person. She is the residence. Mole on the right cheek, small pointed nose. Slim, long neck. She has a twin. Oh, there are two of them? So she could be Celine. Okay, Celine does have a mole on the right. But it says her, her nose is upright. Okay. 785613. I, I was about to call the cops on her. I mean, or DDD, not the cops. She's not on today's list. I might just give her the entry, though. But if I go to here... Yeah, she is, she, she is one of the sisters. Um... Wait, how do I do this at the same time? Okay, it's 785613. 785613269514. It is her then. But the date's wrong. That's the only thing that's not checking out. Everything else is good. Her nose is up, right? It'd be weird if it was down, right? Okay, so just check out. You just need to fix your ID. Wish I can question it. That's so weird. She's not on today's list. Entry request. She does live in that room. I don't know. I'm suspicious still. Her hair has a little, like, a curl. Go back to this. Oh, yeah. her It curls in the right direction. She's got the mole. The number checks out. Serverge. Serverge. Okay, hold on. Serverge. Severshi? Yeah, Servish. I guess, yeah, the name checks out, too. I almost want to let her in. Is her name spelled correctly? S-E-L-E. S-L-E, yeah. N-N-E, yeah. Okay, it, it, it seems fine. Alright. I'll let you in. Yeah, alright. <clears throat> She said, I already answered your question. Okay, okay. I'll let you in. 
But you, your ID doesn't check out. Nana, hello, Nana. This is a murder mystery. It is a mystery. We're a doorman and we have to prevent people from getting, you know, impostered by skit. I guess they're the shapeshifters. So shapeshifting monsters living amongst the people. And so every building has a doorman that has to protect people from being eaten or devoured in some way. I think they devour people. It's kind of like Parasite. There's an anime called Parasite. It's where they would take on the identity by infecting a person's body and they take over and control them and they eat people. Or like Tokyo Ghoul. It's where ghouls are among people and you have to figure out who's human and who's not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But your date's wrong. What? I don't... Because the cleanup crew's gonna kill her, so I'll let you in. Wait a minute. She doesn't have stripes on her shirt. You don't have stripes on your shirt. Look at that. Or is it? It's hard to tell if there's stripes or not. There's stripes here, but... Wish I can get a better look at you. No, I don't know. Should we let her in? Conrail says red button! Virgil says, well, I guess she's not sus. Because everything checks out but her ID. What if I let in an impostora? Mmm, kind of must say no. But she checks out. Long neck, she has a twin. They're very pretty. Yeah, the first floor. Room for a twin. ID. Well, the ID, no. Yes, your ID. I don't see anything wrong with my ID. Yeah, it's a, it's the wrong date. It's February 1955. What's up with you people coming up with the wrong ID? That's concerning. What if I let her in and it's not her? Everything else looks good, though. Okay. I'll let you in. Mm. Mm, I'm nervous. What if I let her in and it... What, what if? And you're not on the list, either. Dang it! Alright, let's hope she's not an impostora. Alright, let's hope we didn't kill nobody! That was hard. It was the date for me. Hello, sir. Oh, wait. Where are you going? Ah, I forgot to close it. I just let a random person in. Dang it. Hello. Good afternoon. Oh, she's a kid. Okay. Yes. Nacha. Nacha. I thought it says nacho. I'm craving nachos, but I'm eating sweet potatoes. I opened a can of sweet potatoes, and I'm like, mmm, delicious. You get some cravings sometimes. They're not too soggy, I'm surprised, you know, being in a can. Nacha Michaels. Michaels? Michaels. Nacha Michaels. Okay, so, uh, let's see, 1973. What is up with these dates? Are they not supposed to match? It should be 55. Oh, her eye color. Look at her eye. Blue and green. I just let an imposter past us, though. Muerto says Parasite is too much for me. Okay, believe me. I agree. I saw some snippets of the anime, and then I saw snippets of the live action. They have the live action Parasite with, like, you know, actors. Because the other one's, like, an manga, then the anime, then they have the live action. Yeah, it's just, it's over the top for my sanity. I just couldn't. It really kind of grosses me out, like monsters inside me. They had that cool show from the early 2000s where people would go do a documentary about like parasites inside of their body. Crazy stuff. Okay, yeah, you don't check out. I'm sorry. Wait, hold on. Left eye green, right eye blue. Okay, Nacha Mikales and second floor for the room four. I'm a resident of the building. I came from. I came from my job as a chef. Ah, the indigestion, forgive me. Okay, she is... 
Right eye blue. Right... Uh oh, it's not her, guys. The right eye is supposed to be blue. Right eye blue, left eye green. Curly hair has freckles. Freckles is there. Round face. She, she's got a round face. I don't know, her face is more long, not round. But I guess the cheekies. Yeah, right eye blue, left eye green. It's not her. My ID? Sorry, I don't know what voice to give her. I don't see anything wrong with my ID. I'll just give her my voice. I'm a resident of the building. Yeah, there is something wrong with it. Yeah, sorry, you don't check out. Okay, checklist. Appearance, no. Question? What's wrong with my appearance? The, the eyes are wrong. Look carefully at the photo by papers and compare them well with me. I am doing my job, lady. I don't trust. Entry request? Well, it's the four. It's room four. Room four, second floor. Yeah, you're right on that. It's not her. Right eye green. Right eye blue. Yeah. It says right eye blue, left eye green. Okay, right eye blue. Is it her right or my right? I'm confused! Muerto says that is her right eye. Is it? No, you didn't... Wait, really? Okay, her left eye is green. Her left, right? Her left is green, her right is blue. But I'm looking at her this way, so right eye blue. Okay. Seven nine seven eight seven eight nine six five three six six five four thirteen. Okay, so then her ID and appearance entry request and she's on today's list. Perfect! Yes, yes. Is... Can you open the door for me? Alright, guys, I'm trusting you! I'm trusting you! I needed to do that with the first lady, because I just let the other guy in. Do you think we're gonna we're gonna get in trouble? Good afternoon. You're not on the list. I'm not on today's list because I had to leave the due to an emergency at work. Okay. Albert Ski Peachman. 1974. Why are these all wrong? Are they all in Bastoras? They could be. Albertski Peachman. First floor, second room. Albertski Peachman. Has a mustache, prominent chin, big nose, big eyebrows, long face. Yes, big chin, mustache, eyebrows, long face. I'm a resident of the building apartment 2 on the first floor. That checks out. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Yes, first floor. Second. Yeah, that's right. 14... 14, 6, 5, 12, 9, 8, 6, 3, 5, 4. That seems right. ID, appearance, yes. I already answered your question. Alright, yes, you're not on the list. I still need to question Dr. W. Afton. We might see another version of him, so let's hope we didn't let an imposter in. Because <laughs> I didn't realize you have to close the door after you let someone in. I like the cursor as a spade. It's a spade shape. Alright, I'll let you go. I did my best, guys. Okay. Alright. Gotta get this in top shape order. Um, higher but ever. Anastasia Macaulay's. She's like the other girl. 1985. I feel like they're all imposters. Should I be like letting them all get 
taken away? It's the date that really throws me off. Yeah, Anastasia Mikales. Okay. So, what floor should she be? I did see it. It should be... Tired eyes. Tired. Pointed... Two ponytails. Two of them. Small nose. I mean, it's... It's a, it's not really a small nose. It's more of like a button nose. Round face. Okay, 13, 2, 6, 9, 8, 5, 3, 4, 4, 6, 2. Okay, but where's the rest of it? ID, appearance. Um, I like forgot to show my entry request here. <laughs> here it is. Whatever. Okay. I live here, whatever. I come from the school. She just has attitude. She's tired. She had a long day of school. She's probably sweaty and stinky from walking around doing gym class. Ew. Stinky! Stinky little kid. Well, she's like a teen. They can't help it that they smell. I don't know. Maybe she's a middle schooler. She could be a middle schooler. She could just be a baby. Does her name check out? A Anastasia. Mikales. Okay, yeah, it does. But the date is wrong. Okay, I'll let you in. Benefit of the doubt. Next, please! Who's next in line? I feel like the lunch lady. Good afternoon. Nia Stone, 79564252. Wait, hold on. She is August 1978. What is up with these dates? They gotta get their dates right. Mia Stone, floor three, room 10. I'm a resident of the building. My apartment is the first on the third floor. The first room. Yep, that's her long hair, round eyes. She has freckles. She's got freckles. Oval face. Thin eyebrows. Yeah, thin eyebrows. They're curved. Did you guys know that back way back then in the 30s and 20s, they had the thinnest eyebrows? The thinnest? It was like a style. It was supposed to be like really pretty. Like the more hairless you were. I have a theory about why they would oil their hair. If you oil, if you do oil your hair, it prevents you from like, you know, uh, what do I, how do I put it? People who have really thin hair, it benefits them to have oil in their hair because then they can like part their hair where it covers up any like bald spots and things like that. Because back then people would really didn't eat much because they couldn't afford to eat. So they would drink a lot of, um, I think they drink a lot of booze back then because it was just cheaper, but they did also have like rules and regulations where they weren't allowed to do any, like, moonshining, things like that in history. But yeah, I started thinking, like, maybe women did that. They shortened their hair, because if, you, if you're very low on nutrition, you can have hair loss, your nails can, you know, they break very easily, very flimsy. It affects the way you develop, so people were very tiny. My grandparents were tiny. <laughs> They were all tiny. <laughs> They're little. They look like chicken nuggets. <laughs> they were tiny. So I think it has to do with like what they were able to eat and how often. And I think that also goes into why they preferred like short hair because it was just manageable. Because if you have long hair and you start going bald from a lack of nutrition, it's easier to hide it if it's short. Because then there's more volume to the hair. So I was thinking they oiled it in like the 30s and the 20s so they would be able to hide any bald spots they had. Because the women didn't want to, you know, it's not very attractive for a woman to be bald, but, you know, men can be bald, give or take, depending. I know everybody has like, you know, a different perspective on what's attractive and then also the culture and then I think just preferences too. But yeah, definitely, like, you know, it just, it came to mind, it made me think for a minute. Like watching the Great Gatsby movie where the women in the 30s and 20s, he was like the most like amazing man in the world because he had money, through parties, but he was madly in love with a married woman. And Virgil says, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they would oil it. So you look in the photos, you know how like, if you look at the hair, it was very like, 
attached to the skin, always touching the skin. Something like that. It was like hair oil. I think they would also like darken it so that way it could hide it better. You know what I mean? Some things like that. Just little things that I was questioning and theorizing. Of course, we don't know because we're not in the 30s or 20s anymore. But that's my theory. I think that's why women did it. Lack of nutrition. And they just wanted to feel attractive so they didn't want to have to show that there's like, you know, a lack of nutrition showing up on their like they're having their nails too long or their hair too long. Because that, that really tells you and the why they were so tiny. Okay, so Mia Stone, she's a teacher. What did you say you did? I'm a resident of the building. I'm on the third floor. Mia Stone. She kind of, I guess. Can I count her pearls? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, you're not on the list. Oh, she is Mia Stone. Third floor, first room. I think it is her. Or maybe I'm being biased because she's pretty. ID appearance. Yes, you check out. I don't see anything. Yes, okay. Can you open the door for me? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. I closed it. Oh, you're definitely not human. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Francis Moses. Yeah, you're not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, it says the milkman. He definitely the milkman. You guys hear about those stories about the milkman? My ID. Yes. I don't see anything wrong with my ID. There's nothing wrong with your ID. It's what's going on with your skin, sir. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my, my job as a milkman. <laughs> Thank you for the subby and the follow. His name is Moses. I thought it said molasses. Molasses is like a like a syrup. Like sugar syrup for cookies and stuff like that. Yeah, molasses. The big molasses flood. There was a time in history where it exploded. There was a giant like factory of molasses. People would go up to the building. They, the parents would tell their kids to... I learned it in... I think not dark history. I learned it in puppet history with uh, Ryan and Shane. They're part of the Watchers, and they have like a history with the little puppet, like with little Professor Puppet. He's blue. He looks like Almo, but blue. He could be related to Almo in the little Muppet Puppet world. And so they were talking about the big giant molasses event where it exploded, and then people were sticky for like months because of the, like, how far it reached out into the town. But yeah, the parents would tell their kids in the neighborhood to go up to the giant factory and molasses would be found like dripping down the sides of it. So they would get jars full of molasses for cooking and baking for their kitchen. Man, you should see the photos. The giant, you could put great molasses history. I want to say it was tragic, but also sticky and sweet. But yeah, because it was so sticky, it's like a fly trap. So everybody got stuck. I'm sure people had to cut their hair or, like, cut their clothes off. It was terrifying. It wasn't fun. I mean, it's tasty, but it's not fun when it's, like, on buildings and people and horses. They had horses back then, too. Yes, crazy puppet history with Ryan and Shane, the watchers, on YouTube. I think they also do a podcast. But, yeah, he is definitely the milkman. Uh, sorry, person with the... <laughs> My ears? I spread them out to hear better. You spread your earlobes out to hear better. Uh, sir, did you know that you hear with your uh, the hair in your ear? Your ear hair picks up the sound in, like, you know, frequencies? Like spiders. You know how spiders are covered in hair? Well, spiders use their hair to kind of listen and hear vibrations, and it's like their whole body's a giant ear, almost. Kind of. They sense, that's why they're so good at testing, like, with moving around and sensing motion. Motion and sound. That's why they're so fast, spiders. Just imagine being covered in ear hair and being able to hear everything. <laughs> it's like becoming a microphone. That would be a hard life. But yeah, you're not supposed to spread your ears out like that. And what did you say again? I'm a resident. I come from a, my job as a milkman. 
Who is he really? He's not on the list. I'm so concerned about the guy we let in. He looked like Dr. Afton, but we didn't even get to talk to him. So let me find out who the real guy is. Third floor. Yep, this is long nose, thin chin, tired eye, short hair, wears a hat. He is a milkman, but he's not wearing the hat. And you didn't give the room number, the floor. It's floor three. Checklist. Question him. Mm, my entry request. I keep switching. I think everything's fine with my entry request. I gave him country. He's a countryman now. Let's see. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. Well, I'm not on today's list. No. I think there's an error. I should be on the list. No, no, you do not Look at this list again. Okay, nope, nope, nope. I'm not playing this game with you, sir. Okay. What is the, what is the thing again? Three, three, one, two. Three. Uh, wait! No, I made a mistake! Ah! Go back! Three. Three. One. Two. Beetle, 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 beetle. Here they come! Contact the DDD. The agents are now here as your request. Please wait for the cleaning protocol to run. Cleaning protocol completed. You can continue your job. I think they killed them, guys. I think they killed the people who are in Pastoras. That's why they called them the cleaning crew. Like, where are they at? And why are they in suits? I bet. Oh. He has like a... What do they call it? It's a vegetable? What is it called? Zucchini? Not zucchini. Oh, what is it called? It's the purple. It's the purple eggplant. Somebody else calls them something else. What is it? What, what, let's see. People call them eggplant. What's the other name for it? Eggplant? Other name? They call it a burgini. A burgini. But some people were wondering why do you call it an eggplant? During the developing stage of an eggplant, when it starts sprouting from the stem, it looks like an egg. So you can look it up. Yeah, because for a certain... For when they're still, like, getting... Changing their color, they're when they're tiny, they look like little eggs. So that's why they called it an eggplant. Yeah, because during... When they would harvest them, it's when they're not ripe yet. They look like eggs. But they call Aubergine. Aubergine? Aubergine? Ooh, the old English name for eggplants, Mad Apple. Translated into English as Mad Apple, Rage Apple, or Raging Apple. This name for eggplants is attested from 1578, and the form Mad Apple may still be found in Southern American English, according to Wikipedia. According to Wikipedia! <laughs> Ooh, so eggplants are called something different in every country. In Japan, it's Nasu. Nasu! Season from June to September, eggplant has a high water content over 90% and contains fiber, potassium, and folic acid, while its deep purple skin is rich in nausea. Nausin? Nausin? A beneficial antioxidant. Cool. Alright, here's an eggplant for a nose. You're not on the list. You look like a gangster. Roman Stalinsky, you are on. Like, I, I am familiar with him. Mm. Ooh, we have a gangster in the building. Big nose. Yeah, got a big nose. Scar on the right chin. He's got a scar. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, facing me, he would look like this. Long face. One eyebrow. You know brow. Where's a hat? Oh, he's not wearing a hat. <clears throat> uh, 4839240596849684 He's an accountant. Purple pickles is what it does. 
Gotcha tube KW. Hello. His ears like eggplant. Yeah, his ears were long. When he said he stretched him out to hear better, I was like, no. Dark. Hello, Dark. K the cool 15. Mike from UYT. And Carlos. Making sure I say hello to all my buddies. Welcome. Welcome. I got lost in like figuring out what his nose was. Yeah. Is there such thing as a purple pickle? A zucchini? Purple p zucchini? It's just an eggplant. But it makes no mention of his nose. But it's 1968. Why is everybody's date off? It's supposed to be 1955. I bet they're all imposters and I'm doing my job wrong. I'm sad now. But everything else checks out. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a public accountant. Yeah, he's an accountant, but it said nothing about the public. She is a housewife. He has a wife? And her name is Lois. Yeah, this is kind of like Family Guy. She got big lips, it says. Big lips. Small on the left cheek, round face, short hair. He love his wife. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna... Selinski? Okay. Well, ID, appearance... Yes, but he's, you're not on today's list. I'm not on today's list. I wish my voice can go deeper. I think there's an error. I should be on the list. Look at the list again. You're not on the list, sir. Please don't hurt me. Okay. <laughs> so then everything else is fine. I don't know what to do. Should we should we put him in the you know what do they call it? Should we book him? Should we book him, boys? <laughs> like they say, let's book him. Carlos says, yeah, purple bagel. Ah, uh, that makes no sense. Wow, I'm a worried. How's his hair again? That's his hair. Yeah. Yeah, it's his hair. You know what? Uh, I'm benefit of the doubt. He's our guy. Go say hi to your wife for me. Say hello to the missus for me. Mr. Stalinsky. Okay, I locked it. Okay. Hello. Ooh! <gasps> He's... Good afternoon. <clears throat> He's the Monopoly guy, or the guy from the Powerpuff Girls. What is his name again? Mayor something? Mr. Mayor? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Mayor. Al Cappuccino. Al Cappuccino. I was going to say Al Pacino. Dunga, 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 dunga. Al Pacino. I freaking love when Adam Sandler did that movie. Where? Well, he. I guess he's in all of those movies. <laughs> it is Adam Sandler. But they were doing it with Al Pacino, the actor who played the character. Who was like this, you know, I want to say mobster. I think it's mobster. Correct me if I'm wrong, my brain's all fuzzy. But yeah, it's like Al Pacino. And they did a Dunkachino commercial in the movie. He's like, what's my name? Al Pacino. I'm a dunk and dunk and dunk and dunk. Al Pacino. <laughs> it's stuck in my brain forever. It's pretty funny. I can't help it but like laugh. It's so good. Garlo says yes. Uh, so we have, what's, what's his thing again? His name is Alf Capuchin. Uh, third floor, fourth room. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a lawyer. Uh, oh, there he goes. Oh, that's his wife, Capuchin. Uh, it's a big nose. Yes. He's a lawyer, prominent mustache. You uses a monocle. Yes. Why are there bugs on his face? That's gross. Unless they're particles, then like you can't help dust particles getting in your face. So he's wearing a hat. Did I make a mistake? Did I let in the wrong guy? Now he's like, you know, with Stalinsky's wife? Okay. Yeah, you're a lawyer. 12 12 12 Got it. He doesn't have a date, though. I'm suspicious. Maybe all of them are imposters. Um... My ID. Yes. I don't see anything wrong with my ID. It doesn't have a hat on it. Okay. Appearance? Yes. Entry request? Yes. But you're not... Wait, are you on today's list? No, you're not on today's list. I think they're all imposters. <laughs> 
Uh, okay. <coughs> not on today's list. No, you're not. I think there's an error. I should be on the list. No, you're not. Okay. <laughs> Look at the list again. Okay, no, you're not. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. I guess I'll let him in. Say hello to your wife for me, Capuchin. Watch, they're all imposters. I'm hoping. I'm crossing my fingers. And I locked it. Good to have to do. Oh, yeah, good neighbor. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Hello. Blah, blah, blah. To you too, lady. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, Gloria, she can make it. Uh, yeah. Earrings, lips, nose, eyes, eyebrows, mole. She looks cozy. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a banker. She can make it. She's on the list. She can make it. Gloria Schmigget. I love their names. Oh, uh, you're on the list. Which floor are you? You didn't give me your floor. Ooh, she's married to Arnold Schmigget. Schmigget? Round face, mole on the right cheek, short hair, round nose. Yeah. Six, nine, eight, five, two, two, three, four. Whoa, wait a minute. One, one, fifty. Okay, ID, appearance. I'm a banker. Is she, oh, oh, she is a banker. All right, checks out to me. Bam. All right, have a nice day. Did you guys, like, see how fast the other guy had walked in after the first girl we let in? The first lady? Woo! We just let you in! Imposter! Okay, hold on. 1970... The dates are always wrong. Uh... Yes, Maruto says the mayor! The major. I think him and that last guy look like those two old Muppets. They do look like Muppets. Ernie and Bernie, right? Ernie and Bernie from uh, Sesame Street. So, we already let you in. Kylie's I'm a resident of the building. I come as a job as a chef. What if we let the wrong girl in? Maybe we can let... What if we let her in and we let them duke it out? The imposter and the real girl. We'll let them fight it off in their, in their house. <laughs> we just let her in? Okay. Um... Okay, you're on the list. But... Right eye blue. So... Yeah, what? But we just let you in. Left eye green. I'm scared. I think... Ah, uh, what? You guys, I'm terrified. I can't tell. I let in the wrong... Okay, 7, 8, 9, 6, 5, 3, 6, 6, 5, 4, 13. Round face. Everything checks out. LJ123, what's up? Oh my god. I let in an imposter. And who's she then? 1973. Are we gonna get a bunch of them? I'm a chef. You're a chef. Right eye blue. Oh, it says left eye green, right eye blue. What? Right eye blue. Left eye green. You guys. I, I don't... I don't know how to feel right now. I thought I'd just let you in. How did you teleport? It's a fake? I can't... It was, it was, right eye blue. Left eye green. How? Okay. I just let somebody in. Everything else is good except the date. She's an imposter, I'm sorry. The date's wrong. My ID? I don't see anything wrong with my ID. Yeah, there is. It's the date. I'm sorry. Beep, beep, beep. The protocol 
task been completed, she has been dismembered, dismantled, and taken care of. Because they, they did not let her survive. I thought one of the men saw, so give or take, that she was the imposter. I should have known I would have gotten duplicates for the wrong date. We, oh, lady, we just let you in. I'm a resident of the building. I'm a model. Oh, it's the sister. Wait a second. You're a model, you say. I mean, she is beautiful, but she's a model, but the mole's on the wrong cheek. Okay. And you're not on the list. You don't give me an ID. Not on the list. I'm not on the list? Yeah, you're not. There must be a mistake. I should be on the list. No, you're not, though. Okay. Check it again. Nip. Okay. Checklist. ID. You don't give me an ID. Here's my ID. Celine, but you said you're a model. Illinois, Ele Elaine, Illinois, Illinois. She is the model. Celine's also a model. She has a twins. They're both models then. Okay, her hair checks out. She's a lot taller than last time. I'm a resident of the building. What if we dismembered the wrong people? Seven, eight, five, six, one, three, two, six, nine, five, one, four. Hmm. The date's wrong. It should be today's date. I'm afraid you're gonna have to die. I already answered your question. Okay. But you're about to die, I'm sorry. I already let in a version of you. Hope you can forgive me. So everything else looks the same except the date. Alright, you're gonna die now. Just doing my job. Don't take it personally. Forgive me. Do you remember that from Monsters, Inc? Isn't it 2019? It was the protocol number before they would like shave monsters down. Okay, it's locked. All right. Because we had let in a lady just like her before. LJ123 says, it was I was right. There was an imposter. Arnold should make it. Uh, he's a Cheeto mustache. I'm a resident at the building. Apartment one on the second floor. So he wears a hat. Good. Wear a round face. Short hair. Big eyebrows. Prominent mustache. Yeah, looks like the guy. He's the first room on the second floor. ID, appearance. Yes. No, he's not on the list. I'm not on the list because I had to leave due to an emergency at work. All right, okay. That's the deepest male voice I can give. Yeah, let's see that checked out. All right. All right, next to it as in line. Who else in line? Sound like a grand lady. Whoa. Whoa. You look like a teeter tot. Robert Ski, Robert Ski Peachman. Robert, yes. Uh, I'm a resident of the building. Job as a shoemaker. Ooh, a shoemaker? He is a cobbler. Cobblers make shoes, or they work on shoes. First floor, second room. So they're brothers? Or are they lovers? They could be lovers, guys. I don't know. They don't look related. Probably lovers or roommates. Can be roommates. Long neck. Without eyebrows. Okay, no eyebrows. Big nose. Got a nose. Has a goatee. Yeah. One, one, four, six, five, two, two, eight, nine, seven, thirty. But the date's wrong. I'm sorry, sir. Your date's wrong. There is no month 22. I'm sorry. ID, no, ID, 
My ID? I don't see anything wrong with my ID. Yes. Oh, ah. Okay. You're never gonna tell the truth. Appearance is good. Entry request on the list. I'm not on the list today because I had to I had to leave due to emergency at work. That's what they all say, sir. But you're this is wrong. I'm sorry. It's 1975. No, it's 1955. February. Let me look at the date. Yeah, February 1955. Impostora! Three. Three. One, two. Everybody going to prison! I mean, that's what you hope, but they don't actually go to prison. They cleaned up the mess. Ooh, so eerie. Imagine if they turned this into a movie. You know how awesome that would be? It's like a great premises for a movie. That's crazy. Next, who's next in line? Whoa. Celine. I think I killed the real Celine, but she came in twice. That makes no sense. So I, I, I don't know. Hi. Oh my, what big teeth you have, Granny. I'm a resident of the building. I come from as a model. I sound like I was about to puke. Those teeth were big! Alright, they took care of it. Just imagine if they do a part two to the series, and instead it's the cleanup crew's perspective handling a monster. Can you imagine? That's crazy. So we're the doormen, right? We just let somebody in. Don't tell me your date's gonna be right. The date's not right. 1978? We just let a girl in. Okay, I'm a resident of the building. Apartment first floor. It says apartment is the first on the third floor. I just let you in. She has freckles. Oh, they're... Oh, no, they... They room together, but they're not married? They're not related. Maybe they're roommates? What you doing, Dr. W. Afton with Mia Stone? She's a teacher, though. Long hair. Let's go through it, at least. Small round nose. She has freckles. Oval face. Thin eyebrows. But I just let you in. Wait a second. Seven eight nine five six four five two five eleven five. Yeah, but the date's not right. Apartment phone number fourteen two five. Ooh, we can call somebody. We can call fourteen two five. All right, let's call them. Fourteen. Ooh, two five. I didn't know you could call them. Checking it to see if it's the real person. Let's see. Because we let her in. Let's see what happened to him. Hello, Dr. W. Afton speaking. My fiance and I are in the apartment right now. Ooh, I let it in the imposter. We're not expecting any visitors today. Ooh, lady. Okay. So their fiance, they're getting married. So fancy, fiance. All right, fine. Uh, You die now. Da 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 Wait, hold on. <clears throat> Mia Stone? I, I don't know who's real. <gasps> Should I let her in, guys? Let them duke it out, see what happens? I'm gonna call the apartment after I... Like, yeah, like, what if I... What if I let her in? <laughs> LJ123 says, but she has a hat. Does she? Alif, Alif, hello, Alif, welcome. We're playing an impostora game. We're gonna figure out who's the imposter, but I'm gonna let her in. She checks out, but the date doesn't. But he already has a woman with him, so. 
I'm gonna say it's her appearance. What's wrong with my appearance? There's nothing wrong with it, but I already let a version of you in. The date's wrong. Alright, he said his fiance was already there. Forgive me! I kind of want to duke them out. Have them duke it out. It's like, here's the imposter, and then here's the fiance. Who's the real one? And watch, they're both imposters. Can you imagine, guys? Like, my god. Okay, I'm thinking. Uh, do I want to have her go in? Do I want to have her killed? Which one do I want? I don't want her killed, because that's what they're going to do. Because they're going to end up shooting her and cleaning up the body. The cleanup crew. They don't tell you that, but that's exactly what they have to do. Like, where do they go after, you know? It's not like they're escorting them off the premises. And the imposter is so keen on getting into the building, right? Because the imposter is supposed to eat people. So there is a good chance that Afton's not going to live very long because I let in the wrong lady. So I guess I'll just let you die. Or I can let you in. Everything else seems right, though. I kind of want to let her in to see what happens. What if they're both imposters? Alif says, I'm not here too long. I have to go to the... It. Okay. Good luck. Good luck with your... With... Uh, good luck with your... My brain's... My brain's going now. Good luck with... With getting your... Your passport. Good luck. Man. Passports are always good to have. I think I applied for mine so I can travel. I want to travel sometime next year, but we'll see. It takes a few months. It depends. Maybe I should let her in. No, he already has a wifey up in there. Sorry, lady. Three, three, one, two. It's been completed. I think there's just too many of them with the wrong date. Okay. Oh my god. Ah! I let an imposter in! Guys, loading! We died! Level summary Doppelgangers captured six. Neighbors killed one. Doppels, you allowed in. Three is the date. Click here to see details. Rank B. Who did I let in? Mia, a fake document. Alif. Alf? Alf. I think it's Alf. Alf. No date on ID. Arnold DDD logo. Wow. Give a round of applause. <laughs> We died! <laughs> oh my god! I think I have a scream sound effect. Let me give a scream sound. Let me give a... No. <laughs> that one! The, sp the spooky deep voiced boo. Na na! No jump scare! Ah, <laughs> uh, we died! Okay, next time... If there's no date, they go into the bin. They gotta die. Fake documents? Mia? Mia had fake documents? How? How are they fake? Arnold, no DDD logo. Okay, I'll remember. Play again. We got rank B. Okay, everybody dies now. <laughs> everybody dies! To you too, sir. Man, my sweet potatoes are just staring at me. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. The date's wrong. Now you have to die. Because it's only 1955. There's no 1980. And it's February, not March. I'm a resident. I'm a model. We've seen you before. All right, lady. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm You are on the list. I'll give it that. Yes, your ID. 
my ID. I don't see anything wrong with my ID, but this is the date. All right, time to die. Three, three, one, two. I don't want to die this time. We were murdered. So sorry, lady. It's not 1988. Mm-hmm. Next! Ooh, you're definitely not him! Good afternoon! Capuchin! Yes, I think you are on the four... There's... Wait, what? I'm on... Oh, on the third floor. Yeah, but you don't... You don't have that. Growth on your face. All right, we know how this goes. The date's wrong. Appearance is wrong. You're not on the list. Yeah, the date's wrong. I don't see anything wrong with my ID. What's wrong with my appearance? You look unwell. <laughs> you look very... Uh, you need to see a doctor. Like high blood... Pla pressure? There's an error I should be on the list. Look at the list again. I did, sir. You're not on the... Ooh, we got a new guy. A moustache. Angus Chipurani. Chipurani. Lois Delinsky. So this time we're getting both sisters. Dr. Afton. I think Dr. Afton killed us. <gasps> Steven Dudboy. Rudboys. Ooh. He stands out along with Mr. Mustache. Of course, we get our beautiful women with big lips. Mm -hmm. Yum, 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 yum. I, I got... Mm. Yeah, no. I don't got a good feeling about him, so he gonna die now. So wait, we have to remember DDD has to be on the ID. It has to be certified. Because that one last person had fake papers. Alright, you guys ready to survive? We can do this. No more impastoras. I think we let in like six together. Oh, hi. Good, yeah, good afternoon. Mia had fake papers. Okay, the logo's correct. The date's wrong. DDD certified. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a teacher. Mia Stone. Entry request. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 1978. Sorry. Your ID appearance is fine. Are you on the list? She's not on the list. <laughs> My ID? I don't see anything wrong with my ID. I'm not on today's list. Yes, you're not. I'm sorry. It must be a mistake. I'm on the list. No, you're not. Uh, Alright, you're gonna have to go. Oh, let me ask. Hold on a second. Let me ask your sister. Let me call. 69996. Let's call the sister, see who's there. No answer. Ooh. And now you die. Is it well the date's wrong? We were so close, but we got a B. 
B's not too bad. That's not bad. I got my eye on you, peeps. Uh, let's see how deep I can get my voice to go. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Steven Rudd boys. He seems like, yeah, it's in the 50s, right? He's got his hair slicked back. He's a little bit too edgy for this type of era. This time of era. Or maybe they did have hair like that, but they shaved it on the side. I'm a resident of the building apartment three on the third floor. Big nose, wear glasses, short hair, small... Uh, what? Small head. You call that small? Okay. Let me check. Okay, DDD certified. DDD certified 1966. What is up with these numbers? It's not. It's February, but it's not 1966. Four, four, two, four, two. Four, two, four, two. Let's see who's there. As I eat my potatoes. Ooh. Hello, Macaulay. Mmm. My son is not at home. Is he back? But that's the wrong date. It's 55. What have I been killing, like, actual regular people with the wrong date? Mmm. Third floor, third room. I'm so torn. He's on the list too. But what if it's the wrong guy? It's your ID. Yeah. My ID? I didn't see anything wrong with my ID. Uh, GDD. Actual papers. I felt so dumb that Mia got let in. Five six five eight four five four five five nine six five. It's a, well, Steven S T E V E N Rudd boys. I'm sorry, it is February, but not not fifty five. Because it said check for the date. I'm so sorry, sir, but. Forgive me. Please forgive me. What if he's a normal guy? Yang, hello. Hello, buddy. We're playing an impostora game. Three, three, one, two. I'm worried that he's an actual guy and we're, he's just being taken. So they don't kill him. They just retain them. Apparently. Okay. Next! Who's next in line? Wow. Ooh, and a special achievement! We got a special achievement, everyone. We got a major impostora. Ever dreamed this clown? Every night all over the world, hundreds of people see the clown in their dreams. This clown appears in your dreams. Don't play any games with them. If you ever want more information, go to nachogames.ichioio, unlikely. Wait! I was supposed to go! I'm worried now. We got a special achievement! He's a rare character! Robert Stitsky Peachman, 1973, December 12th. I'm a resident of the, of the building. I'm a shoemaker. Ah, uh, ID, appearance. You're not on today's list. You're not on the list. You're not on the list. DDD certified. DDD. It's the date. Okay, let me go to his room number. First floor, room two. Let me call in. Let me call the, the family. It's 2668. Two, six, six, eight. Let's... I'm all a 
Brits are. <laughs> Hello, I'm all Britsky speaking. My brother is in home. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. The date's wrong. Cleaning protocol complete. So they're not dead like I thought they were. Continue your job. I am, I promise. Next. Emmanuel says hello. Oh, her again. Oh, the sister. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a model. You are on the list. Her name is Illinois. DDD, DDD, entry request. She has a mold on the left side of her cheek. Her earrings are a little hair. Yes, Illinois Skedevich, Severch, Severch, Severch. Small pointy nose, slim, long neck. She has a twin. The date's not right. The date's not right. Okay. Everything else checks out. Um, appearance, entry on the list. We have to at least question her about the ID and the date being wrong. I'm so sorry. Three, three, one, two. <laughs> Nobody's coming in. <laughs> Emmanuel well says, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Contact DD. The protocol is not complete. If anything, they don't kill them. Yes, I'll continue doing my job. I promise. Yeah, the date's 1955 February. <clears throat> this game is actually kind of fun. Hello there. Good afternoon. Oh, you are not right in the eyeballs. Angus Chipperani 565003698845 I don't think we let anybody in this time 1968 it's May but it's only 1955 that's hope it doesn't make any sense to me I'm a resident of the building I come from a job as a businessman do you even spell business I do I mean I misspell too but <laughs> His name, last name is Kipi Pirani. You are not the man with the mustache. Yeah, Angus Chipirani. Yes, your ID. Yes, your eyes. I'm just a normal human eyes like any other. Dark says genocide rounds! <laughs> Everybody's dead! I didn't let them in. The date's wrong. It's the 55th of, yes, 1955 February. It's supposed to be 0255. Hello. Ooh, there's a character from Flapjack. The Great Adventures of Flapjack is an older Cartoon Network show where a little boy named Flapjack and his mommy Bubby the whale meets a guy who's supposed to be like this adventurer and his name is Knuckles, but he calls them Knuckies. And there's a woman called Miss Wigginbottom, something like that, Wigginsbottom? And she's like, more powder, Charles. Cause her Charles is supposed to be like his assistant and she's like this really bougie, expensive, wealthy woman. I wish I could do a husky voice, a deep husky voice. Lois Delinsky, what is up with your deeds? I'm a resident of the building. I went out to visit my mother. 
So you are. She should. She's. She's supposed to be first floor, room floor. Okay, that checks out. DDD certified. The date's wrong. Let me look at her ID. Eight nine. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Ugh. Eight nine four five. Five six nine seven two three six five one. And Noodle has gotten savage now. So her appearance... Whoa! She's very voluptuous. My goodness, my goodness. Um, one second, please. Uh, I'll... Yes, hold on. Oh. Okay, I think things are fine. Actually, maybe... Noodle's just being a booty hole. My baby booty hole. Your doggos get uh, crazy. My doggos go crazy. It's in their in their instincts. Okay, so 1969. She seems the moles where it needs to be. The hair is in her face. The hat. She's very tall of a woman. Look how tall she is compared to the ceiling. Hi, dang. Jabuba, jabuba. She's got a lot of booba. Okay, I don't know. The date's wrong. Your appearance. ID's wrong. Appearance. Entry request. Not in today's list. You are on today's list, but I don't trust the date. I completely understand, and I hope you understand too. <laughs> oh, you gotta go! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> ah. Do you think they're mad at me for calling so much? The date on her ID is not correct. Yes, I'll do my job. Nobody lives next! Yes, good afternoon. It's like from Spongebob where they're down in the um, advanced darkness of the ocean. 1974. What is up with this? Is this your birthday? I'm not good with Gloria. She's not on the list, unfortunately. Your appearance checks out. The mole, the big lips, the eyes, the short hair. DDD certified. Feels like we're in apocalyptic era. Gotta find her room. That lady looks sus to me. Okay, so she is... Her ID... 69852234111150. But the date's wrong. So, uh... ID, appearance... I'm a resident of the building. I come from as a job as a banker. You are, in fact, a banker. Date's not right. Entry request? Yes. Question the individual. Give you a chance. Yes. Yes. Emergency due to work. What was the emergency at work, you say? <laughs> I just talked to her as she thinks I'll let her in. Uh, how many more people? <clears throat> you can continue your job. I feel threatened every time they show up here. <laughs> I feel like I'm next. Next in line? Ooh. Hello. Dr. W. Afton, we've been wanting to meet you, Dr. W. Afton. I've heard so much about you and your wife. Or, I mean, your fiance. I'm a resident of the building. I come from a job as a physicist. He's a physicist. Yes, robust eyebrows. Wears glasses like Superman. Short hair. Brown nose. Square head. He's, he looks like the younger version of the older man from Up the movie. These characters, man. Their features are so distinctive. I think of every other movie. 
Or like that lady with the last name Bubbles. Holbra Bubbles. 250498. <clears throat> I mean, H9. 656214. Alrighty. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Third floor, first room. Uh, ID's wrong, the date's wrong, appearance, entry. You are on the list. You know what? I'll let you win. But the ID date needs to be corrected, sir. It's 1955. Why does it say 1971? I'm so tempted to let him live to see what happens, but I can't chance us dying anymore. Oh well. He'll be fine in prison. I'm just kidding. He probably won't be. But he's a physicist, so he should be well equipped to handle the power of a doorman in this world is crazy. You have the power to to kind of like eliminate and almost exterminate people. Hello. Where's your papers? I forgot to show my ID. Uh-huh. Sure you did. You have a mole. Was that mole always there? Oh, I didn't realize he had a mole. Or does he? Entry request, sir. I gotta question him. Forgot to show it, you say. Okay. First floor. Room two. Shoemaker. He doesn't have a mole. Don, Don, Don! He doesn't have a mole, guys. This guy is a liar. It says DDD. DDD. <clears throat> Are you on today's list? No. What's wrong with my appearance? You don't got a mole on our documentations. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Is this an actual language? I don't think so. I think he's speaking gibberish. What do you guys think? Should we let him live? Take him to the cellar! Three! Three! One! Two! I feel vile! I feel evil! Everybody dies! Oh god! The protocol has been completed. Are you sure you don't kill them? You say you attain them, but do you really? <laughs> what if I fail? What if I get a C? Oh, you're new. <clears throat> what is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? I don't know. Is it Jesus? Which is it? What's the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? I don't know. I don't think it's Jesus. <laughs> oh god, I coughed. Okay. Ooh, something smells delicious. I think someone's cooking. Is it Jesus? No. What is the meaning? LOL says Virgil! I know I smell food. <laughs> you guys smell that? I smell dinner! I want some. But, but for now, I got sweet potato. My sweet potatoes. I would like some uh, sweet potatoes. I want some ta like uh, tater tots. Who here? Raise your hand if you like tater tots. It's basically just cut up papas, cut up potatoes. And they shape it into a little tot and they fry it. So good. I've always loved having some hash browns in the morning. Of course, like you want it with butter and not like so much oil and grease. Man, when they're extra greasy when you get them from like the fast food, it's like, damn. It's like you're choking <laughs> on some some uh, hash browns. <laughs> They'll have it to go. Oh my god. Hash browns, a breakfast burrito, some coffee. Mmm. <laughs> Too bad the calories are so high. <laughs> it's like all you need to buy is one meal from a fast food and you're good for the day. The prices are rising and so is fast food. 
But thankfully, like a lot of franchises, what they'll do is they'll put things on sale or they'll do like a discount if you buy. Like you buy this, get one free kind of thing. Sometimes. What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? I don't know, but what if he gives me something? I gotta figure this out. Let me see. What if I looked up a cheat code? Would you guys forgive me? <laughs> uh, that's not my neighbor. Meaning of life. I'm spelling everything wrong. <laughs> the meaning of life. The meaning of life. <clears throat> it says... What is the meaning of life? It says, the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else, the answer is 42? Let me try that. Do you think he'll kill us if we get it wrong? What if he does? <laughs> Alright, 42. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> what is the scientific name of the Australian <laughs> animal that drastically changes its appearance when removed from its natural habitat? Are you talking about the squid? Octopuses do that. I didn't know this would be a question. What do we what if what do we get out of this a reward? Do you think we get chocolate coins or something? I haven't had a chocolate coin in a while. Ooh, that's not my neighbor. His name is Chester? Who is this guy? Hmm. <clears throat> Ooh, somebody posted. So the next one is, ooh, it's called, what? How am I supposed to guess this one? Okay, I'm gonna type it out and you guys are gonna be shocked. This is a long, psycho lutes, a macridos. Make sure I spell it right too. M A R C I D U S Macrodus. And the first word is Psychrolutes. P S Y C H R O U. No, L U T E S. Submit. <laughs> That's correct. <clears throat> what is the name of the only sport that allows you to punch your opponent in the face because of a, they capture a piece? Chess boxing? That's a thing? I didn't know chess boxing was a sport. Okay, make sure I spelled it right. At least how many times do you have to fold a 0.01 mm thick sheet of paper and cover the distance between the Shire and the Modar? 38 times? What is this? What? Okay. The key is hiding. Okay. It should be, uh... I would never guess this. Which key... Which key is hiding? U-R-A-N-U-S. That's correct. Okay. Does it matter if I capitalize it? According to... F.SM. Global warming is a consequence of the fact that since the 19th century, the number of blank has decreased. Eww. This is what's going to make you guys laugh. I never thought about it like this. It would be pirates. So you're saying that the reason why there's global warming is because there's no pirates? Hunting for that booty? P-R-A-T-E-S. Submit. <laughs> yes to you, sir. You managed to answer all my questions correctly. Congratulations, you've earned my badge. <gasps> Did I become a... Whoa! I became a cub scout. That's an actual thing. They call them cubbies. They're little scouters. Okay, I'll take it. Hey, what now? Goodbye. Alright, cool. We did get an achievement and now I'm hungry? His name is Chester. Nana, -na, I hope it's not. I don't even have to go through this checklist to know that you're not the guy. We should play me. <laughs>
Thank you, buddy, for saying 38. Yes, I will do my best, sir. Yes, sir. Next. He has a mole this time. You're definitely not the guy. I'm so munchy. I'm actually hungry. Mm. Let me call him. 4242. Let me call your daddy. 4242. See, if we call and his son's there, then this is an impostora. He's not real. Rud boy speaking. My son is not. Oh, so the other guy wasn't the imposter? We, we saw him twice. Is he back? No, I sent him away. <laughs> Your son went to boarding school. ID, appearance. <clears throat> I think we're gonna get an F. I think I'm gonna get an F for failure. So what does B stand for? Okay. So A stands for... Well, let's say A, B, C, D, E, F. D stands for do better. F stands for failure. What? Again? I just sent you away. I gotta draw out the list. You're not on the list. <clears throat> eee, nee, nee. Oh. <laughs> Chaos! <laughs> How many times did you have to catch the same guy? <laughs> Unless his ears extended this time. What if his ears are big this time? Man, I'm so hungry. So munchy. Where are you? Mm. Hi. Oh, he looks normal. Good afternoon. Oh, okay. But your date's wrong. <clears throat> he has a mustache, wears a hat, long neck, small eyes. His eyebrows, man. Businessman, Angus Caparini, Chipirani. What? I mean, isn't the date supposed to signify it's wrong? Everything else seems correct, though. Five, six, five hundred, three, six, nine, eight, eight, four, five. Okay, ID checks out. Um, appearance, entry request. Forgot to show it. Ooh, I keep clicking on that. Ooh. <clears throat> DDD Angus Chipirani Resident of the building Third room on the first floor You are on today's list Okay, he he's, he's the real guy then DDD DDD I'll let you in. How do you think we did? Do you think we did okay? <clears throat> oh, what if we failed? Please. Doppos captured eight. Neighbors killed six! Rank D. Ooh! We got C. We killed six neighbors. But there were eight doppelgangers. You let no doppelganger in. Nice. So the last guy, everybody. Up top, everybody. Give it. Give each other a high five. Dang, that was hard. <laughs> Let's play again. Let's see if we can do better. Okay, so the day does matter. Oh, we still got the little happy... Oh, we got the gold medal. Okay. Let's try to get an A. A for... Arpeggio. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon. Okay, let me look. <clears throat> okay, cool. 
four. We killed six people. So they do die. They're like contained. The doppelgangers. So the doppelgangers don't die easy. But humans do. So actual people that you have captured, they die. But the lethal ones are the doppelgangers. So they didn't die when they got captured. Because I'm sure they sedated them, right? Oh, six people is a lot though. That's like half the residences. <laughs> Or more than half. 4H39240568H4. He's an accountant. Stalinsky Roman. Roman. I'm a resident of the building. I come from a job as a public accountant. Big scar. Scar on, scar on right chin. Long face. One eyebrow. Wears a hat. It checks out. ID. Appearance. But you're not on today's list. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're not on today's list. <clears throat> you guys enter emergencies at work. Okay, fine. Ta da! Muerto says it could be an expiration date. Ooh, thank you. Good afternoon. It says, Balamations, who built you, AI? Impossible! Ah, a teddy bear built me. It's gonna be a long lore, but I think the lore will be cut up into small pieces. Drawing and illustrating everything is gonna look kind of... Uh, it's gonna look very derpy. <laughs> it's gonna look like a child drew everything. <laughs> Hopefully not. I'll do... I'll try. I think the... I think the lore video is gonna be very simple and short, as promised. It's just getting all my things together. But yeah, a little teddy bear built me. If you, there is a, um... I did a lore video game. It's like a point and clicker game. It's like a kind of like an uh, augmented reality game on, on the channel. Of course, it's not. Mm, I did put it together, but it's not like all hand drawn or anime style. But it is like still like, you know, tell the lore. The teddy bear. The teddy bear named Ahanu, my inventor. Ahanu's invention. A little teddy bear built little robots so it wouldn't be alone. Because the teddy bear was a robot. It's supposed to be the story. There. There's the truth, AI. Aha news invention. Aha new means laughter. It's not a very popular name. <laughs> but it's the name of a little teddy bear. And the teddy bear and the little... Well, I guess it's already out there if I think about it. I already did the lore video. I'm just kind of like adding to an update to the lore video. That actually makes it a lot easier for me. <laughs> Instead of making a whole new one. It's kind of going off of the original one. It, it, I guess, I don't know, it's not super snazzy, it's not got, you know, doesn't have all this cool art to it, artsy, artsy fartsy to it, but it is still an augmented game, not bad. You can go check it out if you want, there's a good ending, a bad ending, and it talks about your lore too, about how you were created by the teddy bear. A little teddy bear created you guys on accident, and in the, I guess in the summoning of building a machine also known as sprinkles then the teddy bear had to die it was a life for a life scenario so you guys have to continue on taking care of the the teddy bear's inventions so yeah ai <clears throat> so it's like a whole another world where a teddy bear is the inventor almost like a god but the god's kind of like a child the teddy bear is supposed to be a child though a child inventor i guess that's how the story should go yeah, so there's the truth about AI. Aha, news invention. A little teddy bear who dreamed big dreams, but didn't make it till the end because everything has a cost and a price. You want to create life? Well, you got to give your own. Sad but true. I think that's a moral to a lot of stories. But anyway, I hope that answers Balmations. Spread the word! I was made by a teddy bear. And I also stitched a teddy bear. One of my nieces. It was a gift for her birthday. It's a giant, derpy... But... Oh, Noodle's not happy. Noodle? That was intense. Anyway, that's the story of how I was created. <laughs> that should be the lore video. Noodle? I think Noodle's taunting me. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and check her out. Glorious Gmigage. I'm a resident of the building. I come from a banker. Mole. 
DDD. Expiration date. Okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Six nine eight five two two three four one one fifty banker round face mole on the right cheek. The mole should be on this cheek. She's an impostora. Oh wait, oopsie. No, my checklist! My checklist! DDD, but the mole's on the wrong part of her face. Three, three, one, two. Oh, my head hurts. Okay. Okay. Next. What's this little thing do? What does this little dot thing do? Ooh! Wow! Her head's upside down. That was intense. Wow, I need some water now. Dang, her head was floating. That's kind of cool. I didn't expect that. Hello, sir. Milkman. Oh, he has a unibrow. You don't have a unibrow. <clears throat> He's a milkman. Have you guys heard about stories about milkman? The stories about milkman going around giving people babies. But not literally giving them babies, but you know what I mean. Housewives were like, ew, the milkman. Yeah. Some sussy stories, guys. Some sussy stories. This is as far as I'm gonna go. Share your thoughts in the comments below what stories you heard about milkmen back in the day. When they actually delivered milk. Some countries still do it, though. Boop! Boop! Bang, 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 Thank you, I do my best. Yes, sir. Okay. DDD. What if he becomes an imposter? Or she? It could be like the lady from um, Monster Inc. She's like, Mike Wazowski. Now he looks like the real guy. Yeah, Francis Moses. Wait, what about... Okay, hold on. ID, please. He looks really tired for a milkman. What you lift in? Well, milk is pretty heavy. Never mind. Being a milkman must be hard labor. Technically, he'd still be like... Do they call them blue collars or white collars? They have like phrases for certain types of jobs. Muertos! Says Virgil. Well, I didn't hear any story, but I know he is sus, lol. Oh, about the milkman? Yep, the milkmen were, um... They really liked housewives. Not all of them, just some of them. And there was a joke that people would do, like kids would be mean to each other back in the day, watching old movies. Kids would tease each other that their father was the milkman. And it was a messed up way of saying that the mom cheated with the milkman. Dun dun dun! The father was an impostora. So the whole time, they're like, not even... Yeah. Crazy stuff. It happened back in the day. Probably still happens if they delivered milk. <laughs> if they delivered milk, they weren't they weren't just delivering milk, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh god. Long nose, chin hair. Chin hair. 
Finn Chin. Finn Chin, I misread him. Tired eye, short hair, wears a hat. Milkman. It's spelled right. M I L K M N. D D D. D D D D D. All right, it checks out. <clears throat> Perfect. Yes, you're welchome. Eventual. Yeah, about the milkman. <laughs> and the milkman is always suspicious. All right, go on with you, sir. Come again. Yeah, he is pretty sussy. You just don't know it. How come there's no milk woman? <laughs> Yeah, how come there's no milk woman? Like, do you see milk man? But what about the woman? Was it too controversial that it was a woman delivering milk? Because she's motherly and could potentially produce her own milk? Did you guys hear that, that people will sell their own milk? You know, for extra cash as a mom, they'll pump their milk and sell it. They're like, free human milk, free human milk. It's a thing, guys. It's an actual thing. And mothers gotta make money. You gotta make make money for buying diapers and formula. <clears throat> so yeah. And that like I guess from family <laughs> I've heard stories from my family that yeah, some people sell their milk. It's completely legal if it's coming from the person. Yeah. You're like, do you want human milk instead of cow milk? I heard it's better for you. And depending on the mother's mood, I was told that if the mother's upset, the milk is sour, but if the milk if the mom's happy, then the milk is sweet. At least that's just what I've been told by my mother. <laughs> Cause it's weird, but they taste their own milk to know if it's good enough for the baby. <laughs> Everything is okay. <laughs> Everything is okay. I got lost in my story. And Virgil says, yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, the milkman. Oh, that was such a horrible thing kids would tell each other. Your father's the milkman. <gasps> uh, food. Thank you. <laughs> the looks I'm getting about the milkman. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I'm so good. Cookie. Choking on a cookie is not fun. Yum, 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 yum. Noodle, don't sniff at my face like that. Noodle's so rude when it comes to food. Noodle's such a gangster dog. She'll like spat in my face for a cookie. You know, when they sniffle in your face. She's stinky. I saw her rubbing her whole body on the toilet. You know how there's like the toilet and then there's like what's... Is it the toilet stand? She was over there smelling the toilet. Keep your doggos out of the bathroom. They'll roll in the pee. It's nasty. She needs a bath. I was like, ew. I, I, I like snuggling with her. She's stinky. All right, oh, there you go, my mic is on. Oh, this lady, I forgot. Hmm, hmm, DDD. I love you too, Noodle. You know what I was craving today? I was craving french fries. That's right, I was craving some french fries. I was like, I wanna dip some waffle fries. You know how they make the fries look like a waffle? I was like, yeah, I want some waffle fries. Hello, oh, else is Rachel! So, no, what I do? All right, bless the Lord, we lived another day. All right, I need your other ID. Wait, no, I need this. <clears throat> Pardon me. Sorry, I forgot to show my entry request. She's a teacher. Her name is Stone, like Dr. Stone? That's crazy. If her if she was a doctor. Dr. Stone, DDD. DDD. 7895642515. Appearance ID. You are not on the list. All right. <clears> hmm. <throat> uh huh. Certainly, sir. Uh huh. He's kind of cool. 
It's like men in black, guys. <laughs> Noodle, you're so cute but stingy. Mwah. Stinky baby. Yeah, it's like we're the guys from Men in Black interacting with aliens. One, two. <clears throat> That was kind of cool! Okay. Ooh, she's on the list. Raffitalian Capu... Capuchin. Capuchin? The cappuccino. I love cappuccino, so addicting. I found it weird. Some of the foam inside cappuccinos, for some reason, the foam gets really hard when it's not hot. And I just imagine how the foam is sitting in my stomach after I drink it. Yeah. Artificial foam. 1962. Raphael Capuchin. This is your husband. She's a housewife. Oh, I can't imagine what a housewife life is like. I would like to know. I want to stay home. <laughs> I think everybody wants to stay home. <clears throat> I think modern day is more acceptable for it to be a house husband than it is for a housewife. The social media is crazy. People will be sharing how they really feel. The women out there be like, I want to stay home. And the guy's like, you need to work. We need money. So long face, big nose, straight hair. Where's the headband? She checks out five six eight five five four five nine six three two nine. Yeah, it checks out. To visit my parents. All right. Oh wait, what about a shirt? Oh, okay. Hold on a minute. Oh, what's a dress? Okay. She seems okay. ID appearance on the list. Okay. Hold on a second. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Let me talk to your husband. 4258. As long as you don't have a problem with it, ma'am. I'm talking to your husband if he's home. Preventing us someone from sneaking by. Hello, Zenux. Hello, lady. I'm a resident of the building. I went out for my job as a seamstress. You are not. Oh, you're on the list. Wait, what? Margaret Bubbles. Oh, the date. Wait, no, that's the room number. Noodle, please don't beg me, Noodle. No more. No more crackers for you. Margaret Bubbles. Because then she'll take a dookie in the room somewhere. She'll get all stinky. She'll just start taking boom booms. I'm a resident of the building. Oh, she lives alone. Her eyes are interesting. Curly hair. Okay, her eyes look the way they should be. Deviant eye left. Round nose, big smile. Aww. 1032 6804159 Seamstress. Noodle, I'm not giving you more cookies. <laughs> it's like she's a child. Have you guys seen those dogs online that'll walk like a little person? They're usually like poodle breed mixes and they're really intelligent. Noodle can walk on her legs, guys. I've seen her do it. She can walk around like a tiny human. I just need to get some t-shirts for her. I need to buy some dog outfits so I can have Noodle walk around like a person. And I'll have her go out in public like a child. <laughs> That'd be so cute. They're gonna be thinking it's a toddler and it's a doggo. <laughs> yes, Noodle. You should see she can do tricks. 
She can shake her paw. You can shake her paw. You can have her turn like a tornado. You can have her walk like a little person. Have her stand up, lay down, sit. I haven't got her to to be nice with the other dogs. She'll get very yappy and uh, mischievous. If we bring the dogs in, all of a sudden, Moodle has to pee. She has to find a spot and pee when we bring the other dogs in. Even if I took her out like 10 minutes before, she's just marking territory. Virgil says cell, as in cell phone? <clears throat> mm. Mm. I trust you, lady. Uh-huh, uh-huh. How much do you want to bet that one of them could potentially, like, all of a sudden have a deeper voice at the end? Okay. Virgil! You're supposed to be wearing a hat. <clears throat> Zero, three, zero, four. Alf? Think you're floor three? Yeah. He wears a hat. You're not him. You're not Alfred. ID, entry request. Are you on the list? Yes. Why would you eat it? My neck? I just want to hear his dialogue. I know he's not a real person. It's always been so long. My entry request? I like that it looks like a little cross. I think everything's fine with my entry request. I'm not on the list? I think there's an error. I should be on the list. Why do they want to get into this building so bad? Are the people made out of gold? Do they taste delicious? Beep. Beep. He's gotta go! I'm just having a mint! Hola, Sprinkle said I'm sorry I'm late! It's okay, buddy. We're putting somebody behind bars because they're an impostora. Got some doppelganger monsters. What happened? I've seen people sell is a bath water. Ew. Ew. She sold her fart in a jar. Gross. She sold her fart in a freaking jar, Virgil. And her her bath bath water. That's disgusting. What does she do? Fart in the bath water and be like. And then, like, sell it. No offense to her, but damn. Girl, what? Uh, uh, uh. What were they doing? Drinking it? So gross. Uh. Oh, why? Afton W. Yes. Oh, he looks different. He looks taller than before. Are we short? Oh, my God. I just realized. We're short. We have the smallest torso I've ever seen. Uh, I'm so, so many cookie crackers on me. But yeah, no, that's new. I would never. Maybe she was desperate for money. That'd be different if there was some context to her financial situation. If she was desperate to pay bills and she did it because, you know, for finances, then it'd be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But ew. Ew. I'm a 
president of the building and covered my job as a physicist, Afton. <clears throat> You're not on today's list. We have yet to meet Isaac Goss. No Isaac Goss anytime soon. 2504, 2504-8, 9656214. Wears glasses, short hair, round nose, square head. Let me call your room, 1425. 1425. My fiance and I are in the apartment. <clears throat> wait, what? My fiance and I are, wait, I need to wait, hold on a minute. I got so distracted by Virgil. Virgil says, sorry to say that, but that's the way the world that's the world we live in, LOL. But yeah, people liked her fart and she got out of stock, but she needed ended that after a while. That's gross. What did her fart smell like? Bet it smelled like eggs and bacon. I don't know, probably. Probably smelled like butt. You know? Well, kudos to her being able to sell stuff, but, um... Dang, that's crazy. Did she do it on live stream where she's like, I'm bottling up my fart, guys. Can you imagine her getting her dad to fart in the container? Or her mom? She's like, guys, I'm selling my fart, but I need someone to fart in it because I don't got enough gas, you know? Where she, it's not even her fart, it's like her best friend. It's her fart, not her, <laughs> you know, not the chick. That's crazy. Or if she had a brother. I don't know if she has brothers or sisters or parents. She just got somebody else to fart in jars with her. That's crazy. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, we'll see. Let me call again. <clears throat> yeah, because he says my 1425. I'm Dr. W. Afton speaking. Okay. So this is an impostora. Okay. Virgil says, as I remembered, she sells 30 in one day. LOL. 40 farts? 30 farts? Dark says she made a ton of money from it too, lol. <laughs> Laughing MAO. Laughing my butt off. Dang. Dang. Can you imagine if Markiplier did that? Or somebody that loved was like, hey guys, for charity, I'll fart in a jar. I feel like he's he's too good for farting in jars. I don't know, but I'm sure people would buy it. They're like, I got Markiplier's fart in a jar. <laughs> the poor guy. Oh, oh man. But I can see somebody doing it for charity, but just because? That's crazy. Okay, I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a model. The poor man. Let's see, I think it's on the first floor. <laughs> Celine. Celine. Seven eight five six thirteen two six nine five fourteen. Mole on right cheek. She seems right. D D D. D D D. I'm a resident of the building model. K okay, appearance mole on right cheek, small pointy nose, slim. She has a twin. Mm hmm. <clears throat> She's on the list. That would be funny, says Virtual. If Markiplier did that, that'd be like an April Fool's, but everybody would take it seriously. Poor Markiplier. Or Jacksepticeye. Man. 
That is just... Oh, I don't know. Imagine being that well-known. They're like, a fart in a jar. It'd be like at a museum or something for content creators. They're like, his fart in the museum of content creators in a jar. <laughs> That's... Oh... A fart. So gross. Oh... Uh, are we expecting a Robert Skinski? Robert Robert Ski. Robert Sky. Why don't they spell it say it like that? Robert Sky. But instead they say Robert Ski. Ski instead of Sky. Robert Ski. Peachman. I wonder if his family comes from a long line of selling peaches at a farm. That's why they call them the Peachmen. Because they're the man of the peach farm. I'm a resident of the building, I come from a shoemaker. Let me call them two six six eight. Whoa, two, two. Wait, wait a minute. Ah, let me see. Two six six eight. Two six six eight. Let's check to see if the dad or the son are home. This is Albert Ski speaking. My brother's not home. Wait, what does that mean then? Albert Ski, okay, so I, it has a goatee, shoemaker. What is the date? Big nose, eyebrow, no eyebrows. He kind of checks out. You know what? Seems correct. <clears throat> You're welcome. Okay. He's like the door. He's not even like please. He's like get the door, door man. Don't you mean door woman? I am a lady. It's not a man. It's a woman. Whoa. That is so cool. I want to hear what she says. My ID? I don't see anything wrong with my ID. I don't think you see anything at all. My appearance? What's wrong with my eyes? They look like they got tattooed. They are normal human eyes. There's multiple. My entry request? I don't see anything wrong with my entry request. Yeah, she has like boba for eyes. Like boba in her eyes. There must be a mistake I was on the list, okay? Too bad she didn't have anything interesting to say. Oh, I got scared of her. Woo, I'm scared of her. Three, three, one, two. Hello, Zar! Zario! <laughs> Protocol cleaned. Please continue your job. I want to meet other characters, but we did get some little achievements. Okay. Says, I'm a resident of the building. She's a chef. I would like to taste her cooking. What kind of chef is she? Is she a... Well, she's not a baker. Let's see, D D D. There it is. <clears throat> right eye blue. Right eye blue. Left eye green. Curly hair. She has freckles and a round face. I feel bad. I shouldn't be eating this late. It's not good to eat late. If anybody gets hungry, just drink some water. Have some lemon in it. Or have some chicken broth. If anybody has munchies late at night and you don't want to eat to upset your stomach or to wake up not hungry for tomorrow, maybe you have plans for breakfast and you're really munchy and it's like this late. You know what I mean? Like 8 or 9 p.m. And you're just like, so you just want to have something in your stomach. I recommend having some crackers. Maybe some like, what do they call it? Like saltine crackers. Nothing too like in flavor. Not some chips or nothing. Just really plain Jane some crackers. 
and then have some chicken broth. It's kind of like, it's like, you know, without the vegetables or the meat. It's really low in calories. You can get like chicken broth squares. It's like pre-made broth dried up. And you put that into like a cauldron for soup. It's like a quick way to have the broth without having to make it or purchase like it in a little, little jar. Or kind of carton. They sell a carton broth for bee, chicken, pork, that sort of thing. So yeah, I recommend that if anyone got the guts the munchies, have some chicken broth or beef broth. Or miso soup. It's either chicken broth, beef broth, or miso soup because it's low in calories. And then have a little something to... The crackers is supposed to soak up the liquid, which makes your stomach heavy, which makes you feel full. So have like some crackers with the broth. Yeah, this is probably what I'm going to do because I am hungry. But I, I want an appetite for breakfast. You know what I mean? Because I wake up early. So it's like, I want to eat breakfast. So then, yeah, I'm going to put my crackers away. These are like vanilla crackers. <laughs> Zara says, where's the adventure bon, eh? It has been replaced with Noodle, our doggo. One of our doggos. We have other doggos here, too. Muerto says, does anyone else stream cutting out? Probably the Wi-Fi. Yeah. It's just how stream is sometimes. I see it happen even to the biggest of streamers. Yeah. Probably. Unfortunately. Uh, do let me know if I should change the audio. Goodness, I have a belchy now. I don't think I've ever burped on live stream. Or at least where you can hear it. What was it again? I forgot what I was doing. Seven eight nine six five three six six five four one three. Hmm. Bright eye blue, green eye. I don't know. She looks okay. <clears throat> I do want to taste her cooking, though. I think that's how I got onto food, because I'm hungry. Michael A's. Nacha. Mm. If you're... Oh, you're on the list. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait. Hold on a second. Noodle's going crazy because she wants crackers. Noodle. She's so stinky. My stinky poochies. We go back to hers. I'm going to call 1346. I want to check to see if she's there or not. Ooh, Maroon Chan. Maroon Chan. Some cup noodles. I'm Anastasia speaking. Hello. My mother's not home. Oh, this is your mother? Whatever. Wait, what? My mother's not home. You're the mom? I thought you were a gal. I thought you were... This is the mom? Noodle. Sometimes I swear she's threatening me. <laughs> if Noodle was a poop grenade launcher, where you'd be like... Ch -ch -ch, and then poop would come out her bum... Like a weapon. I think they have... Don't they have toys like that? They should have toys like that. Right, Noodle? They should have poop gun toys for kids. Like a gag. Or the gun, like the toy gun. Or what do they call it? Nerf gun? Let me rephrase that. Nerf gun. Plastic toy with plastic pellets. Plastic sticky pellets where it sticks on glass walls and stuff like that. But it'd be like a dog's bum. <laughs> Maybe that's too graphic? I think that'd be so silly. <laughs> It's a dog gun, and it comes out the bomb. <laughs> It'd be something comical. Maybe like, you know... Well, it would be considered a choking hazard for like 5 and below or something. Muerto says, I mean the video is stopping and I have to reopen the stream. No! Forgive me, bodies. The internet is not sustainable for streamers. The internet cannot remain alive. It cuts out. Ow! Oh! I've been threatened by the universe. We have... How long have I been streaming? Six, seven, eight. We have 30 minutes left, too. Congratulations, everyone. We received 100 messages today with the restream chat. Yeah. 
Free stream chat. A hundred messages. I don't know what that was. Muertos, I just witnessed it. Who who in the chat has been a, a stinky? Sometimes people can try to shut down your live stream. Please don't flag me. I'm a little content streamer. I'm a little guy. <laughs> Please don't flag me. <laughs> and the person just gets really close to the butt. Please. Please. Virgil, what happened? Oh. Virgil said, Thank God for restream. I can still see your messages. Now, what did Virgil say? Oh, nice, says Virgil. Do not touch the shiny button. Do not touch the little shiny button. <laughs> oh, Virgil. What were we doing again? Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess you're the lady. Oh, yeah. Let me call back that number, 1346. Oh, I can't call? Ooh. I was calling somebody! What happened? Thirteen... Hold on a minute. <clears throat> 1346, I wanna make sure she's alive. Thirteen... Four... Six... Thirteen... Oh. Make sure she's alive. Is that you? Says what happened? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Oh, Nacha speaking. My daughter and I are in an apartment right now. Okay. We're not expecting any visitors today. Okay, making sure you're all right. Okay, on to this beautiful lady. She's not on the list. I keep touching the clown. Jesus, get over there. Get over there, clown. You're not on the list. Your appearance seems to be correct. Um, but you're not on the list. I'm sorry, lady. My beautiful lady. Yeah. Unfortunately, 698... Let me call your husband. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Six nine eight two two three four one one fifty, and then we're gonna go here to five one twenty three. <laughs> Arnold speaking. My wife is not home. Oh, this is your wife then. Okay, that confirms it for me. Is she back? Well, I hope so. I don't I don't want her to die. Okay, I believe you. I believe you. Yes. I believe okay, go ahead. Yes, I'll open the door. Say hello to your husband for us. Nice guy. Cheeto mustache. Cheetos! I wish I had Cheetos right now. Some cheesy puffs. <gasps> Do we succeed? Okay. Oh! Oh! Casual F for failure, D for degenerate. Virgil says, What shiny button? Did I do something wrong? No, I don't think so. Don't touch the shiny button, guys. We got A, that's nice. I'm so happy. We got an A. I kept getting C's and B's, but we got an A. All right. Double gainers captured, seven. Neighbors killed, one. We allow no doppels in. We are been successful. Can I get an A plus? Or maybe just A's it. Okay. I don't think they do plus or minus. Let's do play again. Record? Yep. Oh god. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. That was painful. Yeah. Uh. 
S is for satisfactory, A is for awesome, B is for better, C is for casual, D is for degenerate, E is for... What is E for? E is for... What is E for? E is for... Eventually. Then F is for failure. Look, the C is a smiley face. So S can't smile, A can't smile, but C can smile. Look at the little smiley face. D is frowning. E is cat moe face. And this other one is, um... Not so moe. Alright, we're gonna try to go back to play the next level. Click, click to continue play. What is this? Get a score rank at the end of the run according to your performance. Can I do this one? It's working on it. Oh, coming out soon? That's it? <clears throat> coming soon. There will be more game modes, but it may take some time, so please be patient. Thank you for your understanding. DDD is working on it. The doppelganger you let in. That's it? Are we done? That is shocking. I'm actually... What? And we got a squawk like little A face. That's not bad. We got ABC. We know our ABCs. Easy as one, two, three. ABC. One of those says cool. The other says yippee. Can I choose see the doggo? You want to see the doggo? The doggo was made... For my birthday. Look at the little doggo. She's so happy to see you. Ow, 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 ow. Look, she got eyeliner, guys. She is so snazzy. Look at that face. Perfect and beautiful. Look at those eyes. Look at that face. Mm, yo, baby. And yo, baby doggo. So cute. Ow, 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 ow. Look at her teeth. Ah, so cool. She actually has teeth. I think she's got an underbite. That's why you only see bottom teeth. You want to see her angie? This is her angie. She's sad. Angie. And that's it. Angie. She's angie. Who took her dog bone? Which one of you took the dog bone? She wants it back. I think Noodle's more likely to... <laughs> she probably is likely to get angry. <laughs> Versus crying. She's so cute. Look at her move her feet. Look at her move her feet. She's so cute. I love you, Noodle. Her name is Noodles. Or Noodle. And her children were not named after food. They should have been. Dark says there's also S if you get everything right. Zara says yes, Pele is so cute. Muertos. Ah, yes. May caught up a chat. We could do S tier. We can also try F for getting everything wrong. Let's try getting everything wrong and dying. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go for all achievements. All right. I can't wait till they come up with the other versions. Okay, skip. Okay, let's get everything wrong. Let's deliberately fail. Time to fail. So dusty up in here. Look at all those cracks in those walls. I'm just gonna let everybody in. Beep, 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 beep. Mm hmm Yeah, we're gonna try to go for failure. Let's see what happens. We're gonna do this weird speed run of getting everything wrong. Oh my gosh, sir. Wait, he's supposed to be that Chad looking guy. He's supposed to be Chad. Oh, Isaac Goss. No, he's not. He's supposed to be... He's supposed to be Albertsky Peachman. I don't know. Maybe I should go for Satisfactory first? I'm sorry. I want an S tier. I want an S for Satisfactory. I couldn't help it. I couldn't let him in. <laughs> Um, are we... Are we... Are we wrong for getting rid of the doppelgangers? And the doppelgangers, do they really pose a threat? Are they like goblin shape-shifting creatures? Is this close? As long as it's closed. Alright, 
All right, you're free to go. Maybe I should go for failure? I'm doing it by random. <laughs> I'm slacking on the job. <gasps> oh my god. I think I let in the wrong woman. Or did I? Maybe I did it on purpose. Hold on a minute. Are we about to die? I think we're about to die. Guys, so, well, actually, wait a minute. She's not, she's a doppelganger. Doppelganger! <laughs> I'm getting so bad at my job! At least in game. Thank God. Thank God it's not my real job. <laughs> that nose was way up there. It wasn't <laughs> realistic. She, she got a really bad nose job. I feel bad. I wish I just let everybody in, but what if we die now? What if we did let a doppelganger in? You are definitely not him. <clears throat> There's something off about this guy. Maybe it is the right guy. Angus Chipirani. I swear, every time they come in, the name is spelled differently. Angus Chipirani. He wears, he wears a hat, has a mustache, small eyes. Can I ask? Okay. Yes. All right, you're free to go. I trust you, sir. I trust you with my life. With my life, Shinzo says, "Hey, sorry I'm late. The new schedule threw me off so bad. It's okay." But we got achievements. We got a golden nugget from a guy. Then we got a little clown thing. Beware of the clown. Okay, as long as his mustache is parted in the center. He's got that player vibe, right? People with this kind of mustache, they players. And they got a lot of haters. Why do they shave the center? Is it for like, you know... You, I've heard other things about that mustache, though. <laughs> I won't say them, but... Uh... <coughs> um... Man, I'm sure... I'm sure Vexora the Sun Eater could explain what those mustaches represent. Every mustache has a certain, um... If he's a ladies' man, then what does he do? You know what I'm saying? Okay, Steven Rudbugs. Rud boys. 66! Uh... <laughs> Which one is he? No, not that one. I could tell you, but uh... Ooh! Big nose, wears glasses, short hair, small head. I don't know. I'm gonna check him out as he's good. I think I killed him last time. I feel bad. I keep killing this poor guy. Five, six, five, eight, four, five, four, five, five, nine, six, five. <laughs> okay, so then, yeah, he checks out. Mm -mm -mm. You're on the list. Seems correct. <clears throat> yes, sir, Bob. Maybe we shouldn't let anybody in that's not on the list. Yes, I can. Thank you for being nice. Some of these fellas are rude. They're like, open the door. They're like, the door, please. The door. <gasps> oh my god, first time. Good afternoon, Kifton. He's like Superman, but without the little dangly curl on his forehead. Superman doesn't have this little in mouth, I don't think. You know how they have, I think they called this, what do they call it? The hairlines have a name, so this one's considered the in. Usually vampires have it, like in Hotel Transylvania characters, vampiric characters have this little in. Mine's a weird one, I don't have an in. Mine's not circular or straight. I don't think hairlines are supposed to match what's on paper. <laughs> or like illustrated descriptions, I think those are for characters more so than people. Cause my hairline is like, it's indescribable. <laughs> but it's not an M. It's just, but it's not a perfect circular. I don't know. <laughs> I have, well, how many, let me see. How many fingers takes up my forehead? Let me see, I'm doing the finger test. Anybody heard of the four finger test? You put four fingers to your forehead and if four fingers make up your forehead, then you got a forehead. 
<laughs> the virtual. Oh, yes, Shinzu. I'm sorry about the schedule. I'm doing it early because right now I'm testing out the analytics. Did you guys know that 500 of you come back to hang out on live stream? Give or take a few at a time. Sometimes the views are a hundred, but that's not bad. It's like one third or like one fourth. Is it one fourth? About maybe 1.2, maybe at the moment. He's a reporter. Wow. He, he looks identical, but he does remind me of Superman. I think Superman's eyes were bluish green. I think. <clears throat> Ooh, I wish we could meet the f we can meet the dad. He looks so cool. He looks like a Pokemon character. Let's see. Who haven't we met? Oh, I already did that one. Yeah, he's like Clark Kent, except the little hair should be up here. Didn't Hercules have that indention on his chin? It's just supposed to be like a character illustration trait. Of it representing like a handsome chin or whatever. <gasps> Ugh! I keep breathing and dying at the same time. Forgive me. <laughs> like a big smile, prominent and big nose, eyebrows. <laughs> oh, he's polite. He has manners. He's asking. Don't you mean may I? Because I can. Wait a second. Wait a minute. <clears throat> 7332. What if we call and someone's there? 7. 7. 3. 3. 2. What if he's there? And we're about to let in a doppelganger. Ooh, okay, that's a good sign, but I don't like the when it does that. Alright, you're free to go, sir. They are all so freaking tall. Or maybe it's like the angle of it being so close to the screen. Like they're standing breathing on the freaking glass. They're like right face to face with glass. Maybe that's why they look all so tall. You are the sister. You're Illinois. Illinois? Illinois? Job as a model. First floor. Yeah, you're on the mole on the left cheek. Everything checks out. I just need your ID. I'm trying to get S tier. This freaking clown paper every time. DD. That seems right. Let's see. 8453 All right. <clears throat> you're free to go. Unless you start talking in more tongues and deeper tones than uh, than your impostora. All right, you're free. Should I even listen to cosplayers game corner, somebody? Hello, Ooh. sir. Peach man, you're not on the list. You have to die. ID appearance. I don't want to kill him, but he's got to go. You have to lead you to an emergency. You know, it's interesting how only six people are on the list. One, two, three. Wait, I guess three more could fit. Uh, Shoemaker. He's so cute and derpy. Is this your type, buddies? Is, it he, is he the kind of guy you take home to your parents? Shiny Evolution Cosplayers Game Corner says this game is like paper, please. Yeah. If you guys like this game, give it a thumbs up. It'll let me know what to think about playing papers, please. This one is the Ichio IO game down in the description below. You can go check out the game creators, the developers. Yeah, they go by Nacho Games. I believe Nacho. They're really cool. I recommend checking them out. Give them some love, give them some support. They have the demo version too, so you can play the demo. This is the full game. The full game at uh, price, it kind of give or take on what you want to give. But the pricing is very good for something this good in quality. <laughs> good pricing, good quality. Thumbs up from Sprinkles. I like it. So hopefully they'll come out with more. 
So there he is. One one four six five two two eight nine seven thirty shoemaker checks in. Alright, bye. Man, I'm being naughty. I'm being a naughty sprinkles, and I'm just letting people in. Wow. Impostora. Yeah, that's not her. Yeah, her hair's too long and her lips are ginormous. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Freaking love that line. Is it from Disney? I don't know. Me and Disney. Is it Walt Disney? Disney's his last name, but what does Disney actually mean? Before it became Disney. It is not. Let's see, hold on. What does it actually mean? Define. What? It, Disney is only known as a company associated with the man's name. Your nose is way too big. You gotta go. It's not him. I let him in earlier. Sorry, I'm re going really quickly. Yeah, no. 4242. 4 Two. Oh, Stevan, Steven. My father and I are in the apartment right now. Yep, it's not him confirmed. Okay. Wow, you hung up the phone so quickly. It says, where does the word Disney come from? The family name originally does not. Does not? Disling Disney from Isney. It's a Norman French derivation coming from the town of Isigny sur Mer. I'm saying that wrong, please forgive me. <laughs> I'm over here signing the cross. <laughs> forgive me. It's gonna be a miracle if I can pronounce it right the first time. The Disney, among other descent from Normans, settled in England and gave their name to Norton Disney in Link Lincolnshire. What does Disney mean in Greek? What is the meaning of Disney? Let's see. Does the family... Oh, it says, do the Disney family still own Disney? Abigail's brother, Roy P., said in the interview that by 1960, Walt Disney and Roy O. owned about 20% of the company. Today, the family owns less than 3% of the company. Roy P. is an investor, according to the interviewer. By businessinsider.com. Disney Family Network. Meet the family behind the media empire. Dang. What? <clears throat> That's crazy. Only 3% the family has, like, in regards to the company itself. That's crazy. But originally, 60 or 50, 1950 or 60, it was like 20%. That's kind of sad. Wow, so all of it's just investment? Yeah, you gotta go, bro. He's gotta go to heaven. With all his Imbastora family members. Because the guy was already at home with his dad, so there's no way. Okay. This job isn't that bad. Morito says the art style is like the PJs was in 2D and not claymation. It'd be so hilarious if Milkman was spelled backwards, like in a mirror. <laughs> like they actually spelled it backwards. Oh, look at that. He's breathing. Do you see that? He's actually breathing. Wow. What? ID, appearance, entry. You're on the list. Let me double check some things though. He's the milkman. Shinzo, have you heard about the milkman? Let's see. We were talking about the, the story behind when milkmen were around and the jokes people made about the milkman. Two three five five six nine four one nine 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 five. Seems right. But yeah, milkman. I wish there were. I, it's kind of sad there's no milkwoman. I'd like to hear a story about the first milkwoman. The first.
First woman to deliver milk. I really would. But I don't know, why wasn't it a lady? Maybe because it was too heavy to carry? It was, whoa. You are definitely not him. It's not him, guys. I just can't get it out of my head. Running through my head, running through my head, running through my head, running through my head. This is not the night. Uh, uh, this is the night. Running through my head, running through my head. Arnold Schumacher's Shimimich, Shimimich. Your hair's not that long. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, I know where it's from. Clock Tower 3. You can check out Gap's Molder. She did Clock Tower 3. Clock Tower 3 is a PS4 game or PS3 game. I think it's PS3. And it's where this girl named Alyssa, it's like a series called Clock Tower. It's where she finds out her grandfather sold his soul to an ancient demonic guy. And the guy ends up trying to sacrifice his granddaughter so they can become one for all eternity because he has an obsession with, with becoming one with his granddaughter. It's so weird. But anyway, she says goodbye to a, a ghost girl who she reunites with her father. Spoiler alert. She saves people who suffered on behalf of the curse. The curse her grandfather expelled. Like, he brings back all these demons. And these demons would sacrifice a 16-year-old young girl supposed to be the fairest of the maidens, the beautiful at her highest peak, her youth and such and things like that. And then she would be sacrificed for them, their, their lives to be extended on behalf of the curse and the ritual. Some crazy stuff, but it's a game we could play. I just gotta get a PS3. I knocked it out one year, I think like three, four years ago. One of my relatives lent their PS3 and their game is so cool. And I played it for like three days straight. <laughs> and, but I was young. <clears throat> I was very young. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I've heard stories about people staying up late for days on end playing games and drinking Mountain Dew and then telling you not to touch the Mountain Dew because <laughs> they were using it for other things. Man, talent. How can you pee in a bottle? I don't know how they do that. Let's see, DDD. That's crazy. That sounds like a teenager. <laughs> what teenagers do when they're hyped up on a game. My god. Who's this guy? Oh, her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my lady. Okay, 13, 4, 6. Zara says, who the milkman? And we all been asking. Not just speaking. We're in the apartment. Okay, in Pastora. Christian YouTube is having issues. Yeah, same here. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't control the internet. I'm sorry. Okay, so one, two. 911, who is this caller? Jesus. Are we done? Dark says, yeah. Muerto says the best MTD is Purple Thunder. The best Mountain Dew is Purple Thunder. I want to know what that is. I want to know what love is. I'm so shocked. I'm also reading the, the... I want to know what Purple Thunder is. I want you to show me... I want to know what Purple Thunder is. <laughs> what, is what does it taste like? Could you describe it? I know it's supposed to be like sugary, like a spritzer, but is it like, you know, like... Purple Flirt from Jimmy Neutron? Purple Soda? Doppelgangers captured six. Neighbors killed zero. Doppels you allowed in zero. Dang, guys. Damn. Can we get a whip? 
Can we get a hell yeah? Let's see, can I get a whip though? Damn! Details? What do you mean? Okay. Play again? Record. Dang! Now let's go back for failure. S, A, B, C, D. Let's go for the F. Let's go for a failure! Okay, let's go back. Times killed once. Times you survived three. We survived three times? I guess A, B, C is when we survived. Gotta go for F at least. Doubles you allowed in. It's already 901? Well, we did get the S tier for satisfactory. Too bad we don't have E for excellent. Zara says nice. What if those says grape? Ew. I wanna try it. Christian! I need to say hello to my buddy. All right, guys, we're gonna end the live stream because we're having so many glitches. But we did get the achievement of S tier, A, B, C. We just need to come back for D and F some other time. Maybe when they come out with like a second. Let's see, maybe when they come out with the other exclusive items. Like play. So right here it says they're planning on some other activities for us to do in the future. And DDD is working on it. Other than that, let me know what you thought in the com in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the game. If you hope for us to play something like it similar, like Papers Please, let me know. And I can look into maybe having it scheduled for a future live stream. Thank you so much for having patience, even with the lags. I think internet- Whoa! Whoa! I got threatened again by the universe. Please! I'm so tiny. I'm just a small streamer, please. I feel like I'm being cornered inside of a jar. Yeah, I feel tiny. I'm like that last pickle that doesn't want the fork. And people are just trying to fork the last pickle in a little in a little pickle jar. I'm the last relative alive. No, please. I'm just a little random little fox. <laughs> a random ADHD fox a lady. Virgil says, take care and rest well. Zara says, thank you for the stream. Good night, says Shiny Evolution Cosplayer Game Corner. And Virgil says, thank you. Thank you, buddies. Zara says, yes, I enjoyed the game. If you want to play it, it, they have a demo version in the description below. It can take you to Ichio Ayo. I'm going to have a hard time uninstalling it. But other than that, peace and love. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you Thursday, 6 p.m. CST. For WITA, it's an, I think that's the acronym for Indonesia, the Central Times over Indonesia, because we do have some Indonesia buddies. I've checked out the analytics. We have people from USA, Indonesia, Brazil. We have some, let's see. We have some buddies from the Philippines. Pretty cool and epic. Some love to my buddies from all around the world. So I'm, I'm hoping for the future schedule to show the different time zones, maybe at least two. So I have, because Indonesia, Indonesia is like surprisingly, it makes sense in EN VTubers, indie VTubers, independent VTubers, it makes sense. Yeah. So looking forward to future surprises, but you know, always enjoying the present. Hope to bring back this model, even after, you know, another re-debut. It's not going to be like expensive or super fancy because, you know, the budget and uh, it's all out of my pockets. I don't want to go broke. <laughs> and artists can be expensive. And sometimes depending on the artist availability, they're not always available all year long. Some go after they go on a hiatus to relax after they've done and helped a lot of their clients. So they'll have a, their comms will be closed. It's the worst time to be looking for help. <laughs> but I think I figured it out. So peace and love. Take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you next time. Good night, buddies. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Oh, there it is. Good night, goodbye. Like Alyssa from Clock Tower 3. She's like, goodbye. Goodbye, buddy.